Hi, thanks for joining me today in Senior Shape. Really excited for today's chair bar workout. All the toning benefits of a bar workout in a seated supported version. Perfect for beginners and seniors. All you need is your chair, no other equipment, and also no ballet experience required. Uh, this has a lot of ballet moves, a little bit of terminology, um, no dance experience required, but again, all those toning benefits. Let's go ahead and get started. Sitting up nice and tall, about halfway down. Don't rest your back on the back of the chair. Bring your arms rounded forward, like you're hugging a big ball in front of you, and then roll those shoulders down and back. We're gonna open those arms to the side and bring them back forward. So stretching out the chest, we open and close, open and close. Give me four more. For two, hold those arms to the front. Now let's take them up and down, overhead and forward. So think of those fingers reaching, really extending, but keeping the elbows rounded and soft. Four more here. Three, two, and one. Now circle. So we're going to go all the way up to the side and down. So we go up, bring them side, all the way down. Reach. Float them down. That's how ballet dancers look really graceful. They control the descent of all those movements. Your shoulders should be getting nice and warm. And down. Three more. For two. And one. Next we have swan arms. So leading with the elbows, we bring the arms up, and then I want you to tap the wrists and the outside together, and then bring them back down. So a couple slow here. Bring it down nice and slow and soft. Up. And down. Up. And down, now give me eight quick. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna repeat all this one more time, a little bit quicker. Arms come rounded forward. We open and close, open and close. So we're gonna be alternating this workout between arms and legs. So as soon as our arms get tired, don't worry. We're gonna move on to our legs. Arms rounded forward. Here we go, up and down. For four, three, two, leave them up and circle all the way down. Big circles. For three, and two, and one, bring them down, wrists come out, elbows up, our swan. Beautiful, four more. And three, two, and one. Nice job, roll those shoulders down. Let's give our arms a break. We're gonna do some releves, making sure that those uh, ankles are underneath our knees. Sit up nice and tall, come up onto those tippy toes, squeezing the calf muscles, and then slowly lower down. So we lift and lower, lift and lower. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Four more, three, two, now we've got eight quick, here we go. Lift, 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 lift. For four, three, two, and one. Same thing, but this time we're gonna take those feet out. Like if we were standing, it would be a wider like second position and toes are coming to the corners. Same thing. We lift, slowly lower. Lift, slowly lower. Let's bring our arms up. Just hold them here. Lift and lower. Tippy toes, control the descent of the heels. Two more slow. Eight quick, here we go for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Release it down. Toe heel in again. Starting with the right leg. We're gonna extend that leg out, pointing the toe and bring it back in. Little tendu. Bring it back in. Stretch. Bring it back in. You might need to 
Come a little bit closer to the edge of your chair here so you can extend the leg. Squeeze the quad here. Four more. For three, two, hold the leg out here. Now give me a little leg lift, put it down. Lift and lower, lift. Just as high as you can go. A couple inches is great too. For four, three, two, we're gonna put those two together. So we're gonna bring the leg out, lift, put it down and bring it back. Tendu, lift, put it back. Point, lift, put it back. That should be getting nice and warm on that quad. Maybe you feel a little bit in the hip flexor as well. Make sure you stay for the end. We're gonna stretch that out, super important. Lift, last one, point, lift, put it back. Nice job, left leg. We start with the tendu, forward, bring it back. Really extend the leg, trying to straighten your knee here as much as you can and squeezing that nice top quad muscle here. Bring it back, we've got four more. Three, two, hold it out, now lift that leg. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it back, here comes our combo. So we brush it out, lift, put it down, and bring it back. Point, lift, bring it back. Point, lift. Good, are you breathing? Still sitting up nice and tall in the chair? Holding on to the sides for support? No problem with that. Good, we've got two more. Point, lift. Last one, point, lift. And down, all right, nice job. Time to give our legs a break now. Sitting about halfway back in that chair, arms are coming back out to the side. Really extend those fingers. Shoulders are down and back. Leave your right hand out to the side, and then I want you to reach up and over with your left and bring it back. It's a beautiful little extension here. And if you really wanna work on being graceful, you can add a head looking towards the hand as the opposite arm comes over. Four more here. For three, two, reach those fingers. Last one, other side. Reach over and extend and reach. So even though it doesn't look like we're doing much, I know you're feeling those arms using our own body weight here, activating those muscles. Long, lean, beautiful dancer's muscles. Three more here. Two. And one. And release it down. Okay, arms are gonna be flexed at the wrist and then I just want you to take them back out to the side and push them away. Push them away, push. Like you're clearing the way for you to come through. Straighten, bend in straight for three two and one now same thing but we're coming down into the back kind of like you have a big skirt or maybe a tutu and you're fluffing it back away from you bend and straight bend and straight for three two and one back to the sides we've got six five four three two take it down for six five four three two, side for four, we've got four, three, two, back for four, three, two, side for two, here we go, one, two, down for one, two, singles, oh, I know it's burning, stay with me, when you feel that burn, that's the muscle changing, and guess what, as soon as we stop, it goes away, so stay with me, give me four, three, 
to you. And one, let's give it a break. Roll those shoulders. Nice job. Coming to the edge of your chair, holding on to the sides for support. We're gonna do nice big circles with our legs, called a rond de jambe. So bring that right leg forward, and I want you to take it all the way out to the side, and then bring it back, bending the knee. So again, like we're drawing as big of a circle as we can, or more like a half circle, with that one leg. Open up the hip, and bring it back. You should feel this in the hips, and in the glutes. Nice stretch for the inner thigh. And around. Four more to the front. For three, make it as long as you can. Two. And one. Now let's reverse it. So we're going to the back first and bringing it forward. Back. And forward. This might feel awkward at first. Keep working out with me. It'll get so much easier and better. Your extensions improve. Three more here. Two. Three. Last one. And let's take the same thing on the left leg. We start front, all the way to the side, bring it back. Big circles. Still standing up nice and tall. Big as you can, breathing. Two more to the front. Nice job, let's reverse it all the way to the back and bring it forward. Four more. Reaching the leg as much as you can. For two. Last one. Now that our hips are nice and warm, I want you to come all the way to the edge of your chair, holding onto the sides, and extend both legs out. Now, in ballet, there's mostly everything is done in a turned out position. So I want you to think about bringing your heels together and opening up your legs from your hips. Your right leg, you're gonna point that toe and slide it. Again, opened up, knee turned out to the side, and then take it back down. So we lift and down. Now I'm really flexible in my hips, so if your leg is not turned out as far as mine, not to worry. You can, up here is still great too. But just again, try to open up those hips taking the knee as much to the side as you can. And lift and lower. Give me one more. Okay, now we're gonna lift it. Then I want you to extend that leg, point the toe, take it back and back down. Woo! Extend, bend and back down. I know you're feeling this in the inner thighs and the quads. So good for Tony of the legs. I said it was seated. I didn't say it was that easy. Stay with me. Three more. Extend, bend, and down. You just do what you can. It's okay if your legs aren't going that far. Every time, it'll get better. Last one. Extend, now hold it here. Little final baby lifts. Keep that leg turned out. Breathe for four, three, two, and one. Are you shaking? I was shaking on that last one. Shake it out, readjust, and then we've got the other side. So again, making sure that your bum is on the edge of the chair. Extend both legs out towards the center, and then turning out, opening up from the hips. Left leg comes up and down. So we're just sliding that foot up the inside of the right leg. And in dance, this would be a little passe, trying to open up as much as you comfortably can. For four, three, two, 
and one. Here come our extensions. So we slide it up, straighten point, back towards the knee and sliding down. Lift as high as you can, extend and back down. Good. Nice and slow and controlled. Breathe through it. For three. Almost there. Two. Last one. Hold it here. Keep the leg turned out. Little baby lifts. For six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring that back in. Ooh, shake those hips a little bit around. Nice job, guys. That was not easy stuff. That's your homework to practice that. And let me know in the comments how you get on. Okay, giving our legs a little bit of a break here. Round those arms, sitting halfway back in the chair. Big torso twist, sitting up nice and tall, belly button to the spine. Twist, come back to center. Twist, come back to center. Working our obliques and our abdominals here. Twist and center. We've got four more. Three. Two and one. Second set, I want you to add an arm extension. So reaching behind us, coming back to center. Still twisting to the side with that arm reaching back behind you. Add the head if you'd like. Reach and center. Reach and center. Give me four more. Keep twisting in the torso. For two and one, hold those arms center, come a little bit closer to the edge of your chair, belly button in, shoulders down, and I want you to lean back and then use abdominals to bring yourself back to a seated position. Lean back, maybe even tap your upper back to the back of the chair, back and left. Exhale, inhale, exhale for four, lift, three, two. We've got one more set, but again, we're gonna add an arm. So I want you to bring it down and swoop, bring it back to center, down and swoop. Like you're reaching behind you to maybe pet your cat or your dog next to you. And reach. Can we do eight more? Sure we can, seven. First six, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful job. Lower those hands back down to the sides. Now a lot of bar is working on the glutes, right? We're working on the bum. So I can't do a bar, bar workout, but I'll be honest with you, it's hard to do in a seated position. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tighten our glutes as we sit down. Let's keep the arms rounded in front and I want you to squeeze as hard as you can and release. Squeeze and release. So you are squeezing your bottom together. Squeeze those glutes and release. It doesn't look like we're doing much. Squeeze and release. Think about really pulling everything up into the abdominal cavity. Squeeze, release. Give me three, two. We've got one more set. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze, hold three, two, one, and release. Squeeze, hold, two, and release. Squeeze, hold three, two, one, release. Squeeze, two, Three, release, give me two more. Squeeze, two, three, release. Squeeze, two, three. We've got eight more singles and then we're done for eight, seven. Give it your best. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, nice job, relax. Give me a big deep breath, arms go up, inhale. Exhale, arms out to the side. Crisscross one arm over the other. 
Walk those fingers back. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale. Exhale. Release those shoulders down, but keep the hug. It was a lot of shoulder work. Even though we didn't use any weights, really worked those muscles. Release, other side, arms go out, cross the opposite arm on top. Again, walk those fingers back. Give yourself a big hug. Inhale. Exhale, keep the hug and drop the shoulders down. Release the arms. Extend that right leg. I want you to do some big ankle circles to the outside. Reverse it in. And then point and flex, point, flex for four, three, two. Other side, put that leg down. Big ankle circles going to the outside first. Feels good, releasing all that tension there and reverse it. And then let's point and flex. Point, getting those toes to the ceiling. One more. Point and flex. And release it down. And I told you we were going to stretch those hip flexors that, that we worked so hard. I want you to turn to the side of your chair, holding on to the chair with your back arm. And then I want you to extend that leg as far as you can towards the side here. Think about doing a little pelvic tilt and then reach that arm all the way to the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, reach back towards the back of your chair. You should feel beautiful stretching your side body here. And in that hip flexor, lower the arm. And then I want you to bring that knee towards the floor. And if you're able to, grabbing your pant leg or whatever you can get a hold of, Bring the heel towards the bum to stretch her quad right here. Again, totally okay if you're grabbing your pant leg like this. Nice job. Release that. Let's turn to the other side. Supporting yourself in the back of the chair, dropping this front leg, reaching that toe back as much as you can. Arm comes up, lift it nice and high, inhale, exhale towards the back of the chair. Release it down, dropping that knee like you're about to kneel on the floor, but it's not going to touch. Reaching back to grab that leg or pant leg, bringing the heel towards your bum. Oh, that feels good. Really important for the knees too, guys, to be able to stretch your quads. Gently release that down. Let's come towards the center. Circle those wrists. Reverse it. And then drop your chin to the chest. Just let that head hang. Slowly shake your head no, left and right. Stretching the sides of the neck. Coming back to center, lift the chin all the way to the ceiling, dropping the back of your head. Coming back to center, look all the way over your right shoulder. Back to center, all the way over the left shoulder. And back to center, thanks for joining me today, guys. Big inhale. I hope you feel amazing, you're more graceful, and really worked on toning all those great lean muscles. Thanks so much for joining me today. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Would love to hear from you. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have all sorts of different workouts on my channel. We'll see you next time.